Joining me now is He Sheng Wang of Shanghai Zhao Tang University and to talk about IROS in 2025 in Huangzhou. Only one year to go. Thank you for joining us. Exciting times ahead. Um, if I can first start off by asking you about IROS 2025, how exciting an opportunity for it to come to China? First, we have the IROS 2006 uh, in Beijing. At that time, it's the first arrows come to China, mainland China. Then I think nearly 20 years, the arrows uh, will back to mainland China again. I think it's very unique experience. You will find how big change have been in the mainland China within these 20 years. And Hangzhou is very beautiful with the history of nearly uh, 2,000 years. Uh, we have a very beautiful lake. Uh, located in the city center uh, and uh, we have the delicious food we have the many traditional culture so i think uh, hangzhou will be very unique experience and also shanghai hangzhou is very close to each other so i think uh, we, we will also uh, meet a lot of star company and uh, even some big company the headquarter is also located uh, in shanghai very close to hangzhou so i think that will make the hangzhou very unique it's a great opportunity for Hangzhou to showcase local talents, but it's also a great chance for you to foster some of those international relationships and the networking that takes place at IROS. Nowadays, the, the China, the robotics society in China grow a lot. We have many, many researchers in China, they can uh, easily visit because nowadays the, the international relationship and so on, uh, it's very hard for the Chinese scholar to, to attend some international conferences, especially in the United States and so on. So I think then that will be very convenient for all the researchers, they meet each other, they communicate with each other, so I think that's very good thing. Now at IRAS this year we're focusing on sustainability. What kinds of key themes can we expect to see next year? So we have the uh, conference theme. Uh, we call this the Human Robotics Frontiers. Uh, because we know that the robotics have come to our daily life nowadays. We think that the human robotic interaction is very important if you want the robot to serve a human. Uh, more friendly, more easily, and also many new technology like the uh, NLP and even the large language model, they are all related to the human robotic interaction and so on. So that's why we try to focus on the theme. One of the things that gives IROS the buzz, the excitement, is the workshops, the talks, the exhibitions. Can you give us a sneak peek at what we might expect up 2025? Okay, so first uh, I think, uh, uh, talk about the exhibitions. I think we will track a lot of small companies, startup companies, they will do the exhibitions. Uh, they will demonstrate their new product, new idea and so on. So this I think will be very unique. And also we can provide the opportunity, uh, every attendees, they can uh, submit their proposal that they can bring their system uh, even the even the demonstration movie or some uh, real system to the conference to, to demonstrate it to all these attendees. Yeah. Sounds like there's an awful lot for us to look forward to. Thank you very much for the interview, and we'll see you in Hangzhou next year. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Welcome to Hangzhou.